My main research interests are in modeling, analysis, simulation, optimization and control of networks and wireless systems. So I have several projects going on in these areas uh, currently. Uh, one of them is in the area of sensor networks. Uh, a sensor network is a collection of a very large number of sensors uh, connected together typically via a wireless network. Now there's several questions we have to ask when we are engineering a system like this. Uh, first of all, how does the communication for these sensors take place? Uh, so there are several uh, communication as well as networking problems that we're working on. Um, a second area of interest in sensor networks is how do you manage these sensors to perform a particular task uh, in an efficient way to optimize performance in some sense. So for example, suppose you have a, a, a network of uh, many, many sensors and they are tracking a target. Um, now the idea here is that you would want to only turn on or activate those sensors that are uh, close to the target and heading uh, perhaps in the direction where the target is heading. Uh, if you turn on all the sensors at once, you get great tracking performance, but uh, you're compromising in uh, energy efficiency. So somewhere between turning on all the, uh, the sensors and, and not turning them on at all is, is, is a balance where you'll optimize uh, energy efficiency as well as target tracking performance. That's the, this is the problem that's called uh, sensor management. And we have some work going on in sensor management as well. Uh, in the area of wireless systems, uh, we have several uh, research interests. Uh, one of them is in the area of opportunistic scheduling. Now, the idea behind opportunistic scheduling is as follows. Suppose you have a cellular system that is uh, delivering data to a number of wireless mobile subscribers. Uh, now, because data can tolerate some delay, uh, we can afford to schedule these uh, data transfers in a way that opportunistically takes advantage of channel conditions uh, from uh, the transmitter to these users. Now, these channel conditions are typically time varying and uh, they vary widely and very quickly as well. And so you would want to, for example, for a particular user, wait till uh, conditions are good before you do a data transfer. And you can afford to do this in, in data services. So the question is, how do you do these uh, schedules in an efficient way? Um, a third broad area of interest that, uh, that I have in my research is in the area of networking in support of next generation scientific and engineering applications. Uh, currently, there is a lot of interest in networking uh, a large number of uh, computing devices, forming what are called uh, computing grids to support scientific applications and engineering applications. Now, there are a lot of networking problems to be solved um, in engineering such a system for such applications. For example, scientists are often interested in transferring very large data files across uh, great distances. The current internet does not easily support such uh, uh, large file transfers. So the question is, how do you uh, carry out these large file transfers to support scientific applications? Uh, this is an area of interest that uh, we're working on right now. Typically, students who work on these projects get to exercise a great deal of uh, uh, innovation and creative thinking, uh, problem-solving skills. They get to formulate uh, new and, uh, and interesting ideas and solutions to problems. Um, they learn new things all the time, and that's, that's what it's really all about.